don't forget to subscribe to Steven C. Killer. Now get back in the grave, gutbag! What's up, everybody? Steven C. Killer here, bringing another reaction. Now, today's reaction is Gogeta versus Gogeta. And yes, we are facing GT versus Super once again. The debate is always there. And yes, I will have to say, I love the design of Super Saiyan 4 and everything. The design is fucking top tier in Gogeta. And his Super Saiyan 4 form is fucking cool as well. I fucking love that design. And at the same time, I am also a pretty big fan of Gogeta Blue from... The Broly movie. <sighs> and this is a battle between these two fucking uh, powerhouses. Now, just like I did when I reacted to, like, uh, there was a fight recently I watched where it was Super Saiyan 5 Goku from Dragon Ball AF, a fan made manga series, facing off Beerus, the god of destruction. And boy, was the outcome fucking crazy awesome and well done and holy fuckballs moments were in there so definitely check out that video um and uh yes today we're checking out gogeta blue versus gogeta super saiyan 4 now in the comment section guys who do you guys think would win in a fight between these two fusions this is also by rewind rumble of course so they're going to show and talk about all the feats that happen uh, between both stories. Now, Gogeta from GT only is around for a few episodes, if that. I'm not 100% sure on the amount. I only watched GT through all the way through once, maybe twice, if that. And I don't think Gogeta was in there more than a uh, few episodes. Maybe only like two? I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've seen that fight. But. Yeah, I don't think Gogeta was in there that long. Uh, and the same can be saying, uh, said about uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Uh, because one thing about the, uh, the fusion dance is the more energy you use, the faster you defuse. Um, that happened to Gotenks. Um, and I believe it did happen also to Go uh, Gogeta in Super Saiyan, uh, in Super Saiyan 4 form. And... Uh, happened in uh, GT, but it really didn't happen in um, Super, the Broly movie. So that is probably still affected because of how fast they were fighting. But in a time sense, we don't know how fast that or how long that fought, uh, fight between Gogeta and Broly lasts. Like to us, it was probably roughly 20 minutes of amazing animation or more. Um, but in realistic sense with how fast they would have to be fighting, and that fight could have probably only lasted about a, a couple of minutes, if that. And we saw in uh, Super where uh, Vegito Blue only la hit, even though the fusion p through the Patora um, it was supposed to last an hour, and the fusion dance is only supposed to last 30 minutes, uh, the Patora earrings lasted six minutes. That's it. But. Yeah, th this is going to be an interesting fight. Uh, if you want to check out the original fight, link down below. I'm going to be on Gogeta Blue side um, because I think that form is more powerful and everything. But it's, it's just going to be a hard and close uh, call. It really is. So let's get the video up. Link down below in the description if you guys want to check this out without my commentary over it and whatnot. And... Uh, Support Animation Rewind by checking out the channel, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, liking the original video, and also do it on my channel if you want to try to catch more reactions. Uh, they have a Patreon page, support them that way too. A little can go a long way, and let's get into this and enjoy this fight right now. This video is rated T for Teen. Ooh. That, all, that beginning is always super loud, so I want to lower it just a little bit. There's a lot of fights I also still need to catch up on. Um, this is uh, not the newest fight, I think. Or no, this is the newest fight. I think I've, I have, I'm behind like two fights. 
Dragon Ball Super versus Ooh. If this fight has these uh sprite animations right here, I know this style and this uh this sprite animation's always so fucking clean. Dragon Ball GT Canon versus non canon Super Saiyan Blue versus Super Saiyan 4. It's Gogeta Blue versus Gogeta SSJ4. Spoiler Hell alert, yeah. Gogeta is going to win this battle. Now, <laughs> you're probably wondering which Gogeta comes out on top. Today, we find that out. Today, yep. we rewind Rumble. Let's do it. It's time for the anime exclusive Dragon Ball Gogeta. Instead of a fusion via earrings, Gogeta is formed via the fusion dance. Gogeta yeah. is famous for a significant boost in power and is oh, and that one of the most powerful drop right here. in the anime series. Gogeta is significantly known for his speed. He completely blitzes his foes, such as Janemba, the same Janemba who is easily faster than Movie 10 Broly and Anime Kid Buu. This makes Gogeta, even in his base form, massively faster than the speed of light. Considering that he's oh yeah, base form definitely. TL characters, he has the combined intelligence of both Goku and Vegeta, and shares their personalities as well. His notable techniques include the Soul Punisher and the Big Bang Kamehameha. The Big yep. Bang Kamehameha is the perfect fusion of Vegeta's Big Bang attack and Goku's signature Kamehameha. To give you now, that's one thing I'm still disappointed on that I didn't do in uh, with Gogeta Blue. Like, we saw Soul Punisher, in a sense, or, uh, uh, with Gogeta Blue, but we never saw Big Bang Kamehameha with Gogeta Blue. He just did a regular Kamehameha. ...perspective of this blast power, it was so powerful that it caused Omega Shenron to regurgitate the Dragon Balls. The Soul Punisher is a spherical energy projectile that Gogeta can throw and send into his target's soul. This is a very effective technique if the target's soul is one that is not pure and weak to good intentions. Gogeta has many different transformations from Skinny Gogeta, Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, the Golden Great Ape, and last but definitely not least, Super Saiyan 4. Wait. Super Go wait, Gogeta Golden Great Ape. I don't remember that ever happening. Four is the ultimate form of Gogeta as seen in Well, technically, I guess that he could go Golden Great Ape. I guess he didn't need to because of the fact that both Goku and Vegeta were already Super Saiyan fours when they fused. Dragon Ball GT, where Goku and Vegeta both faced off against Omega Shenron as the Super Saiyan four form. With the fusion dance, they successfully... Oh, that's one more thing I never brought up. I was wondering if this is going to be also possibly Xeno Gogeta. Because Xeno Gogeta um, is a lot different than uh, GT Gogeta. And Xeno Gogeta can go Super Saiyan 4 Kaioken. ...one of the strongest warriors in the series. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is somewhat playful and cocky as he likes to toy with his enemies. And acts somewhat irresponsibly during... Yeah... Speaking of that, Gogeta's biggest weakness is his time limit and attitude. Goku and Vegeta can only last in the Gogeta form for a short amount of time. Roughly oh yeah. 30 minutes. And while it usually not even a problem since they are so powerful they don't need the full fusion time, this is something that can be of concern going forward. Overall, Gogeta is held as one of the strongest fusion forms in the Dragon Ball universe. While he does have a time limit, he is so powerful that this is almost never a concern. Gogeta's story in the Broly movie is one that is born from desperation, but ends in glory. Desperate oh yeah. For desperate measures. And that whole moment right there of them fusing, oh. Legendary Super Saiyan. I like they that whole they change hair. into Vegeta something kind of color-wise. Pride swallowing to fuse with Goku under Vegito. But this time, he had to take the next step and do a dance in order to fuse. Oh, this yeah. A ton of personal willpower for Vegeta to musk up the confidence to do such a thing. And lo and behold, they needed multiple tries. And thus, one of the greatest battles and one of the greatest battle themes was about to take place. Gogeta versus <laughs> Broly. A Broly with an actual personality and wasn't just a plot device. Gogeta yeah, this Broly is... That Broly was way better than Z Broly. Super Saiyan C-type Broly and overpower him in his own Super Saiyan state. The power of Gogeta's punches were so immensely powerful, these Saiyans were able to break through space and time. Sending oh, them yeah. Into dimension. Now, before any of you low-balling Dragon Ball skeptics come out of the woodworks and tell me that this was just some fancy animation effects... Gogeta no, they broke through dimension. ...no longer in the same place they were.
they were before these punches. This soon forced Broly to transform into the legendary Super Saiyan. Gogeta was still able to counter him by using Super Saiyan Blue, pummeling him until Gogeta nearly killed Broly with a limit Ultra Kamehameha. Gogeta's power was enough to earn praise from Whis. So wait, that, that Kamehameha that he did had a name i did not know about that that that's interesting his attacks truly magnificent it should be noted that once gogeta turned blue broly became 100 percent incapable of landing a single solid attack that is gogeta, true only landing in clashes that often favored gogeta of course all cool fusions have their limitations the gogeta form can only last for 30 minutes and offers a slightly different personality mm, like i said at the beginning i don't think 30 minutes uh, is something that would last Similar to Vegeta, Gogeta can be ruthless once he has been determined to face... Now, this fight between both Gogetas, if there's no time limit between each fusion, Blue Gogeta will easily win, of course. And even with a time limit, I would say Blue Gogeta has the, the danger of defusing faster than Gogeta Super Saiyan 4. I would say that right here, right now. But I think even with that time limit, he, although he might be cocky enough for... He gives the other Gogeta enough time where they'll defuse. It's hard to choose, but I really feel like Gogeta Blue is going to win. Foe and seen such a foe as a threat and will show no hesitation in eliminating them as seen during the final moments of his battle against Broly. Now, like Goku, Broly was shown mercy. And now, let's get ready right for Right into the, the battle. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin. I'm looking forward to this. Oh shit, here we go. Oh, I turned down the music just a little bit. <laughs> the cocky back punch. Saw that. Gogeta! 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 Oh. Ooh, big. I already can say it. they need to do a beam struggle between these two. I guess playtime is over with this weaker fusion. I'll show him my real power. Okay! Okay, the trash talks. Whoa, feels like I was hit by a hundred Omega Shenrods. Ooh! How did you like that? Okay, wait. Going back. Going back. Going back. Going back. How did you like that? Uh, how did you like a taste of my true power? True power? There's no way in hell some recolored Super Saiyan fusion has more power than me. Oh, red versus blue in a sense. From the guy dressed in a furry suit, you never stood a chance. I haven't even tapped into my power yet, but behold. I've had enough. Full power! If he said Kyle Ken there, oh my god. Let's go. <coughs> I just realized one more thing. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta would not be able to feel the actual power of Gogeta Blue, of course, because of the god key. Damn! Slapped him away like nothing! Yep, you are the, uh, the inferior fusion. Damn. He legit disintegrated that motherfucker. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy win for Gogeta Blue. Hopefully you enjoyed that animation. And if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's Wingless Angel Fold. Thanks and enjoy the post analysis. Like always, claps. Claps for that awesome animation. Good job. Ba -na -ba -na. Do we really need a post analysis? Analysis. And the winner is it was pretty obvious. Sorry, but Gogeta loses.
Sure, Gogeta is powerful, but Gogeta is way more powerful than Gogeta. I get that Gogeta has great feats, but Gogeta is just far better when it comes to feats. All confusion aside, <laughs> Gogeta Blue does beat Gogeta SSJ4 in a fight. Dragon oh, yeah. Ball Gogeta Blue has done something that Dragon Ball GT's Gogeta has never done, and that's punched so hard that they can break through space and time and send themselves and their targets into a new dimension. SSJ4 Gogeta might not have a counter for that, and while you could argue that GT Ooh. has more experience, while I would agree that... Now, a better and more, I would say, e like, closer to even fight, even though I would still say Gogeta Blue uh, would still win, is Xeno Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 with Kaio Ken might have more of a chance. GT Gogeta has had more experience while being Gogeta. Goku and Vegeta themselves has overall more fighting experience in Dragon Ball Super than GT Goku and Vegeta. So it kind of counters itself out. Maybe GT would have beaten a Dragon Ball Super version of Gogeta if DBS Gogeta didn't have a Gogeta blue form. But that's clearly not the case. Making the winner of this rumble, Gogeta blue. On the oh yeah, easy. Rewind rumble. Ah, uh, what's the next battle? Presents Super Smash Bros. Ultimate versus Jump Force. Oh, oh, okay. Jump Force versus Smash Bros. Ooh. Let's be honest. Jump Force has some more. I would say. Super Smash Bros. definitely has power in their in their in their arsenal, and I would say Super Smash Bros. has more characters, of course, than uh, Jump Force. But you got you got a lot of power just alone in Jump Force. There's so much power. Now, like. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is th that's tough. Who do you guys think is going to win between these two? Super Smash or Jump Force? I'm leaning a little bit more towards uh Super Smash over Jump Force though. Not oh, wait, I mean a little bit more over for Jump Force over Super Smash. I said that completely backwards in my head. One thing about Jump Force, it's Jump Force, ver Jump Force versions of Vegeta and Goku and Trunks and Piccolo and Frieza and Cell, which are, I would say, not the strongest versions. So there is a chance that Smash Bros. could pull out the win. Because this also could be a, a, a power scaling because, like, example, there's Naruto in Jump Force and Naruto in Jump Force, uh, depending on how good or skilled you are, uh, or whatnot. Most uh, can, people can beat each other with pow like characters that shouldn't be able to beat. Yusuke Yurameshia is another example. Yusuke wouldn't have a chance against Goku, but Yusuke can beat Goku in Jump Force stuff like that. And Goku can only go Super Saiyan Blue, and uh, Super Saiyan, and Kaioken. That's it. No Kaioken Blue or Ultra Instinct. That's right, up next we have the Total War rematch between Smash Ultimate and Jump Force. And this Ooh. time, no Bobo 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 Bobo. So it's going to be a oh. epic battle. I'll see you there. I'm Animation Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later. Alright, alright, it's a rematch. That's awesome. That is fucking awesome. I am looking forward to that rematch. Guys, uh, definitely go subscribe, hit the notification bell on Rewind Rumble if you guys want to try to catch that when that drops. Also, if you want to check out my reaction and streams and whatnot, you know what to do as well. Hit that like and subscribe button on this channel as well. So, until next time guys, I'll see you guys later!